Hey guys, it's Monsky here, and today we're back in Elite Dangerous, and I'm going to be checking out fuel scooping, which is another thing that was added by Beta 3. So you can see I'm at All In Enterprise, and I'm in our hauler, which I just bought that a little bit earlier. So let's go into the outfitting screen, and we've got to buy a fuel scoop. So if I go down to this uh, compartment, I'll go buy and equip. You can see we've got a fuel scoop here, 82,000 credits for D class. That is expensive. Um, so th that's a shame that it's so expensive. I don't really want to spend that much. I wanted to replace the discovery scanner with it um, so that I didn't lose cargo capacity. But I mean, this one's 4,000 credits, even if it's only G class. It, I don't really know if that if the class even affects it though. I mean, it probably does. But I don't. It doesn't tell you what it does. So um, let's let's just buy this 4,000 credit one and we'll lose our cargo capacity for the time being. It's no big deal. I'll probably replace it afterwards anyway. So there we go. We are fuel scooped and ready to go. Now, hmm, I've actually got fuel, full fuel. I don't know why I've got full fuel. Um, I didn't buy any when I was here. So, alright, well I'll, um, I'll have to burn a bit of that fuel I guess. I'll just do a few um, frame shift jumps and then we'll actually do some scooping. So, fast forward to that. Okay, so I've just made a jump. You can see I'm in Super Cruise, and where's the sun or the star? Which is probably more accurate. Let me actually just target it. So I'm in this carries system. I don't know how you say it. So if I actually just fly close to the star, slow down a bit. And we'll see if this works. There we go. Fuel scoop is active, so I just don't want to overheat. So maybe if I pull back a bit now, no, my heat's gone a bit too high, I think. So the closer you are, the more heat you will uh, get, but the faster you'll scoop as well. So I guess let's go back in for a bit more, shall we? So I'm down at about 70% heat. So the closer you are to the star, the faster the heat rises. Oh, and it dropped me out. Okay. And I'm taking heat damage too. Let's get out of this situation, shall we? Line up with the escape vector before I take too much more heat damage. So, uh, slightly risky business, fuel scooping. I'm actually scooping a bit as I run away. Um, I'm up at 250% heat almost. Probably a bit much. 70% hull. That's still decreasing. I've got to get out of here. Now I'm being interdicted, are you serious? Alright, I haven't shown you this before. Let's find that escape vector. Keep myself lined up with this. You see the blue bar on the left will climb up if I get it right. Come on. Gotta hold the stick in the right place. Alright. So the red bar is decreasing, the blue bar is increasing. Once the blue bar is full, I will escape. And that is how you avoid an interdiction. Well, that was it. That was exciting. So, um... That's fuel scooping, basically. It's, um... It's really simple to do. But it's, um... It's probably difficult to get completely right. I mean, you saw what happened to me. I screwed it up and I got too close to the star and um, just took a ton of damage. And I still, I don't think I completely fueled up. I came close to it, but I didn't completely do it. So that's that was me getting greedy, I think. I got a bit too close to the star. Um, let me do another jump. And where I'm going to go to? Somewhere far away. So I use up a bit of fuel. Uh, Zeta Hercules, I haven't been there before. Let's go. So we'll, uh, we'll give it another shot in this system. So it's, there is a bit of risk involved to it, I guess. At least if you're uh, not quite sure what you're doing. Like yours truly. But I think once... I mean, this is the sort of thing that it's only going to be useful if you're really out in the sticks. Like... Like if you're just running around in the core systems trading or whatever, you're not going to need a fuel scoop. You know, you've got a you've got stations in every system. Um, 
and you, you can buy fuel for cheap, you know, there's, there's no need for the fuel scoop if you're in those main systems. But say you're like really out in some remote sector, you know, there's no station around in like seven or eight systems nearby and you need fuel, well, that's what the fuel scoop is for. So, you know, and especially given that it takes up, um, at least in my case, it takes up a cargo rack. I could have got a more expensive one that wouldn't have taken up as much room, but... So you are making a compromise to carry the fuel scoop around. But if you're that person doing the exploring in the, um... in the far off reaches of the galaxy, you're gonna want it, it's just that, that added piece of mind, you know? If there's no uh, stations nearby to buy fuel at. So let's try this again, and I'm actually gonna go a bit slower, and just keep an eye on my heat, see how quickly it starts rising. So let's uh, slide in here. There we go. So I'm, I'm just taking it a fair bit slower this time. So heat's at 100%. So basically as soon as I start taking damage I'm going to pull away. I'm getting close to being full on fuel I think. There we go. So that was a lot better. I think I filled up. Yeah, I did. So that that noise you heard, um, it actually hit full fuel, I believe. A bit of a nebula cloud or something, or is that smoke? I don't even know. Um, so yeah, it's pretty interesting. So it doesn't take too long to figure out the hang of it. You've just got to be, basically don't get greedy, I think. Um, if you get too close to the sun, you will start taking damage, I guess, is the key thing to take away from that. So just slow and steady, I guess. I guess, I mean, you are in super cruise, so there's a chance you'll be interdicted. I suppose, uh, as you saw that happen to me, but it's not too bad. I think um, I think it's a fairly simple mechanic to get your head around, really, and it seems to work. So yeah, the only the only thing is how useful it's going to be for you. Um, like I was saying, if you're just doing trading in the core systems, you're not going to need it basically. But if you're going out some long range exploration, then it'll probably be useful to have along with you. So it's pretty cool, and, um, and I mean. Don't forget, there's plenty of ways this can be expanded in the future, like... Right now, fuel is more of an inconvenience than a serious problem, like... Especially when it comes to buying it in the core systems where it's like a couple hundred credits to fill up the fuel. But maybe if they expand that so fuel becomes more expensive, or they make it so that you can sell fuel as well as buy it... You know, there's, um... Like, I can, I can picture being a kind of fuel tanker sort of thing, right? Where you fly around, you fill up cargo holds full of fuel, and then you go sell that at a station, that could be interesting. Um, I don't know if that's actually going to happen or not, but it could be cool. So, you know, there's all sorts of potential for this sort of thing. But, yeah, so I think I'll, I think I'll leave that here. It's, um, I only wanted to show that, which is pretty simple to show off, really. So, yeah, until next time, I've been Wasco, hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching. <laughs>